Hello again. Good afternoon. I'm Chris Higeni. Now let's take a look at the details. The Minister for Finance, uh, Planning and Economic Development, Matia Kasaija, says that the fate of traders are seeking compensation for losses incurred when conflict uh, broke out in South Sudan in 2013 relies on a decision of the cabinet. Kasaija told the Parliament's Committee on Trade that a report filed after consultations with various stakeholders was submitted and a decision is due to be made. Just three of the 160 claimants who were found eligible for compensation in the first round of verification that threw out mostly the small and medium-sized enterprises. The Honorable Attorney General, Honorable Minister of Foreign Affairs, and the Minister of Trade in the Industry and, uh, and the Cooperatives concluded the consultation and awaits Cabinet guidance. I beg to submit, Mr. Chair. Hey. I wish to take this opportunity to thank you. Uh, much as we didn't hear so much in regards to the animal feed concentrate, Maybe you can say something before we start the asking the questions. Uh, I'm such a man, I don't want to talk something I am not sure about. Maybe my officers, do you know about that subject? <laughs> can you or I impose a tax without your knowledge? No, what we are saying in relevance, we know, of course, we know what we know, but I, I, I can't talk on something that I have not studied properly because I may say something that may be off, off track. Do, do, do you have a technical person here who can guide us? But how does someone impose a tax on Ugandans and the ministry cannot respond? All these technical people? No, you see, Mr. Chairman, you know, in the ministry, we have departments, uh, and the desks, and whatnot. So somebody to who does not handle that matter directly uh, would be very shy to really make a statement to this committee. <laughs> my, my prayer this way mm. is since now I've heard about it, then you, I will request that, <laughs> yes, I've heard about it. Let's have the order to put my very good friend, the Honorable Minister, on a point of order. Mr. Chairman, this is the political head in this ministry, and I expect that any directive being implemented by these agencies is coming right from him. Now he's saying he's not sure what, uh, he doesn't want to give a statement to this committee that he's not sure about. Is he competent enough to be in that ministry? Is he in order? to come to this house and tell us that he's not sure what his uh, agencies are implementing and the departments. Is it uh, Honorable Minister, hmm. really you are not in order. Because this is your ministry, you are a, is within your docket. Surely there should be someone here to explain to us. The, the issue of animal feed concentrate is going to have an effect on uh, products. These are eggs, this is beef, this is pork, because it's going to increase the cost. It's going to have an effect on the economy. Now, tax is a function of profit. Without profit, you cannot collect tax. The, the URA has reclassified concentrates, and uh, now they must pay a certain tax. And we believe URA cannot take a decision without... Uh, without the guidance of the ministry. So really, Honorable Minister, you should be able to respond on this matter because this committee is drafting a report and this report will be presented earliest next Tuesday. Proceed. Include the issue of the taxes, the, pro the proposed tax on the concentrates. The way he's talking as if none of his technical officers here uh, is able to talk about it. But at least he knows that someone in his ministry is able to do that. The Minister of Finance is just a stone throw away from this meeting conference hall. Wouldn't it be procedurally right, Honorable Chair, that you 
through you, you instruct the minister to, to call in whoever he thinks is able to talk about the matter. And in a few minutes, the person will be here and we conclude that matter, since we don't know when we can get him again. Thank you. Thank you so much, Chair. Chair, I am in possession of a letter that was written to the Minister of Finance, Planning and Economic Development. I'm not sure if the Senior Minister of Finance read this letter. But if he did, whatever we are talking about is in the letter. And so it is really disturbing the senior minister is pleading ignorance. I have not talked about ignorance. That you don't know, that's what no, it means. I'm just please. speaking English. Mr. No. Chairman, let me be protected. No, 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 no. No, please, let me also say what I want to say. But I'm so that I am understood. I'm meeting, Mr. Honorable Minister. Honorable Minister. Honorable Minister. Can the I am, I, I am moving a point of procedure. Mm. You're saying you did not know that you're supposed to make comments on what the chairman is asking you to comment about. If that is not pleading ignorance, what is it? The letter, so invi am the letter inviting me for this meeting is here. Can I read it for you? You, you read this letter. No, read this letter. Can we have... I acted in accordance with this letter. Honorable this, Minister. This is a meeting. Honor not the Minister of Finance. Honorable Minister. This is can, can we have... Uh, uh, can, can, can we have some order? Honorable Minister, let the member submit. I will give you an opportunity to respond. Kindly uh, switch off your microphone. The microphone. challenge we get is uh, having people who have a lot of sense of entitlement. You know? I am a member of parliament just like you are. Allow me time to submit and you respond. So, I am just in position of a letter. Mr. Chairman, this letter is asking the minister to come and, uh, and, and, and speak about various matters, including the matter you have just put to him about the taxes. As the Committee on Trade uh, members uh, meet Finance Minister Matia Kasaija and uh, his uh, officials uh, from the Ministry of Finance. We shall be bringing you the details of that meeting later in our subsequent bulletins. That is uh, NTV Akaongezi as well as NTV Tonight. Later.